Matthew, your announcement for your letter of agreement with the Hart property yesterday, that looks like mega news to me. Am I correct? We're very excited about it. It's a step in the right direction for building up the, the continued momentum of our company. And for those of you out there at Investor Intel who may not be familiar with Kraken Energy and you follow uranium and critical minerals, I urge you to learn more about Kraken. So Matthew, can you give us an overview on who Kraken Energy is? Absolutely. Kraken Energy is a still a rather new uh, junior exploration and development company focused on only uranium assets in the United States. Uh, we're looking to build up our portfolio of high value properties uh, throughout uh, Nevada, Wyoming, Utah, and uh, move forward to put in place a hub and spoke mining model for domestic uranium production in the United States. It's always about location. And it seems to me like you have that covered. I was going through your marketing deck. Excellent website, by the way. Thank your you. marketing deck is very clear and concise. And it looks like you have real location and infrastructure advantages. Can you talk to us about that? Absolutely. We're, we're really focusing on areas that we aren't going to hit any stage of our project development and come across sociopolitical feedback that hinders or stops our progress. Uh, we've seen it too many times in different jurisdictions around the world, and it's just something we don't want to waste time and invest our money with. So we're focused on that. And we're, of course, in conjunction with that, we have to look at areas that have a strong history of uranium production and development. So between Nevada, Utah, and Wyoming, I think we're really well situated in where we're looking for continuing to build up our project portfolio and move forward with the company. During the investor talk earlier today, so you had some excellent questions. And one of the questions I particularly liked was, why have you been able to find such successful projects? And this is where I always urge our audience to do their due diligence and to actually review management's background to see what they may or may not be actually capable of doing. Can you tell us how you were able to pick up such uh, what appear to be historically exceptional projects? Uh, it's, in this case, it's largely uh, who you know, but also uh, how diligent we are in the processes that we, we go through. So for anybody who doesn't understand uh, the history of uranium in the United States, uh, the U.S., and specifically Nevada, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, had a very, very strong history of uranium exploration and production in the 1950s and 60s, uh, largely due to incentives that were offered by the U.S. government to push forward those, those productions. Uh, after the incentives were taken away in the 1950s, all of that was forgotten. Uh, most of the attention for uranium de development shifted to Saskatchewan, to the Athabasca Basin in the early 1960s, 1970s. Since then, these projects have been forgotten. They've been sitting in dusty BLM offices and people's garages in file folders for, for a very long time. And we're fortunate enough to know some people who uh, not only worked back in those times, uh, looking at these properties and working on them, but have continued to keep relationships with uh, BLM uh, contacts, with uh, other people that, that know where these files have been kept over the last 50, 60 years. And we've been able to comb through them and pick out the ones we want, cherry pick them, for lack of a better term, as we move forward building up our, our project portfolio. Okay. So, and since you've joined Kraken Energy, um, you've had a series of milestone news releases very quickly. Uh, are we going to continue to see news flow like this? What should we anticipate, uh, say, in the next quarter or two? Yeah, absolutely. Since I came on uh, at the... At the time that I came on, our only property was Apex. Since then, we've added Garfield Hills, Huber Hills, and now Hearts Point as our option agreement. And we're going to keep moving forward with that. Uh, we're very realistic in what we're looking for with this company. We're not looking to find a 400 million pound deposit. We know that's unrealistic in the jurisdictions we're looking for. So what we want to do is put in place a portfolio that has you know, anywhere from five to 10 properties of merit that can host deposits of 10 to 50 million pounds and bring these all together into one feasible hub and spoke mining model. So you will continue to see news releases that uh, include project acquisitions, uh, as well as continued development on our properties across the board as we want to progress them concurrently with each other to a pre-feasibility or feasibility state as soon as possible. And of course, we love sustainability here at Investor Intel. And I could actually ask you questions all day. So how about you do interviews as regularly as possible, Matthew. And for anybody interested in finding out more information on Kraken Energy, I urge you to go to their website. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Tracy.